Lift and support the frame per manufacturer's recommendations. The frame will need to be lifted high enough that the jacks can hang freely. Do not work on an improperly supported unit as this could result in permanent injury or death. With the frame supported, you can now disconnect the landing gear harness from the jack you are replacing. Next, using a socket and drill, loosen the nuts holding the top and bottom brackets tight against the jack. Use your hands to remove the nuts from the end and then slide the carriage bolts free. Be careful as now the jack is just resting against the brackets and could fall on you. With the two bolts removed, slide the jack out and insert the new one. Be sure that the stop tabs on the jack are either both outside or both inside of the brackets. If both rest on top or on bottom, the jack will not be supported correctly. The jack also needs the support tabs to face inward towards the bracket, or they could slip free during operation. Once the new jack is in place, replace your carriage bolts and begin the nuts by hand to prevent cross-threading. Use your drill and socket to finish tightening the bolts down. Once the jack is properly secured, reconnect your jack harness and test the jack for proper operation. Once satisfied with operation, raise the frame up to remove your supports and then lower it back down to the ground.